Yo, what's up, uh, One Pride family out there, um, all the Detroit Lions fans across the globe. It's your boy King, man. I got some um, some little updates, a few things I want to talk about right quick. Uh, first and foremost, um, the Lions got a D-tackle, um, one-year deal, Jordan Hill um, from the Seahawks. Um, not a flashy player, not a starter, um, but a depth move. And um, you and I know that's uh, exactly what we need uh, for the Detroit Lions. We need depth. We need guys to be able to throw in and out of there, man. Um, this guy had a starting job waiting for him when they drafted him in um, 2013, but he couldn't stay healthy. So um, we'll see. It's a potential move by Bob Quinn. One year deal can't hurt, man. Um, but with that being said, I, I wanted to ask y'all a question about a decision the Lions need to make. Um, and it's concerning Haloti Nada. Do you keep Haloti or free up 5.7 million in cap space? I'm going to say if you free up that money, you got to find somebody else to clog clog the fucking holes. You know what I mean? Hello, Nada is not no big time sack guy, but his fat ass can plug holes, man. Um, and redirect the running back. So with that being said, if you're going to do it, you got to, you got to, you got to get a replacement. Got to get a replacement. Um, yeah, but I was reading a, a story about that earlier on Bleacher Report. And um, I found that kind of interesting. Um, not knowing what Bob Quinn still has left to do. It's still some, um, still some minor moves he can make here and there. Um, but it's also some moves that he can make after the draft. Um, it's going to be a lot of guys that get deals after the draft. So um, that's just something to look into, something to keep an eye on. So um, I still feel like the Lions have got to get another. Um, they still have to get another receiver. Um, Marvin Jones is just not the guy. Uh, that disappearing act, man, it just killed us. Like I said, he's a number two. Um, he's a number two at best. Um, and also, the Lions have to draft uh, somebody with some speed. Man, I don't know who they plan, who they depend on, uh, depend on making the the kick returner. But I'm interested to see, man. I always felt like they should have um, gave Washington an opportunity to play kick returner. Um, but you know Jim Caldwell is stubborn as shit so he decided to stick with Roberts I felt like in the preseason when Washington was returning kicks he did a pretty good job so we'll see who they put that kick return man. who's going to return kicks for the Lions but I'm, I'm interested to find out um, if it's something that I, I don't know that you know let me know you know, I'm just trying to trying to scratch and dig up as many, you know, of those free agents that, you know, a lot of people don't really know about. I'm trying to, you know, get some, some info on, man, you know, uh, what's available out there. Because, you know, the draft, before I do the, the draft prediction video... I got to know solely what direction that the Lions is trying to go in. And I still honestly, wholeheartedly believe that the Lions will go defense in the first round and running back in the second round um, and probably finish out with just defense, man. That's what I think the Lions are actually going to do. Uh, unless they... I just hope they don't get in a tight end or something, man. This dude, 
you know, come on, man. We need a running back, a big back. You know what I'm saying? Um, Amir Abdullah is not giving you no damn every down. You see, you see what I'm saying? He's not, he will never stay healthy. We need a big back. So somebody, um, somebody look out for after the blunt uh, after the uh, uh, draft is Lou Gehrig Blunt. Um, as far as a, a veteran running back, big fella. You know, a lot of people wouldn't like it, but you know, hey, whatever. We just we need somebody that can get you know. Get, get us those yards when we need them, man. We need that, you know, that Joy Bell-esque. I'm talking about the old Joy Bell. Not, you know, the old Joy Bell. We need somebody that can just pound, man. I know a lot of y'all, you know, say we got Zach Zinner, man. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, We need somebody else to match up with Reddick and Amir Abdullah. Zach Zinner, I, he did a great job, man, but he's just, to me, he's just not the guy, dude, to do it. You need somebody that, you know, some, some good veteran leadership at running back, man, that can come in and just pound the ball and, um, and, and get you through in tough situations. So that's what I mean. Um, I like Zach Zinner a lot, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to throw shade at his development, so – Hopefully he can develop into even something even better this season. We'll see. But that's all it is. It's a we'll see thing. So, I don't know. I'm kind of rambling, man. My mind is fluctuating because I'm driving at the same time. Damn traffic. Just went and picked me up some ass and some grinders. I don't know if uh, who here in Michigan, but or if this is out of state, but this is Bellasinos, man. Oh. Sub grinders, man. Toasted sub grinders. Deliciousness, dude. So I'm about to go home and have me a really nice time. <laughs> so, um, just wanted to chat with y'all, man. Um, anything that y'all know that I don't know, man, leave it in the comments. I just wanted to talk some Lions, man. I'm listening to 97.1 right now, man. Just want to talk some football. Kind of getting tired of the NFL, M NBA. Not because of the Pistons, it's just the NBA period, man. It's like, what are you watching it for? You know what I mean? It's Cleveland, Golden State, and Spurs. And then after that, it's just, you're basically just wasting your time watching, man. So I just wanted to talk football. But I'm about to get out of here, getting ready to turn on my street. So I'll catch y'all later, man.